Jean H. Nickerson Memorial Beach to protect and preserve our beaches, our parkland, our green belts, our open spaces, and all the gifts of nature for the enjoyment of generations we will not live to see. This, it seems to me, is the great legacy of public service. Eugene M. Nickerson. That's our county student of New York. Cool, dude. Thank you. Hi, I'm on Long Island. Near Long Beach, I think it's uh, Hempstead Park or Point Lookout. This is the ocean. We have a like three and a half hour drive to our place today. Um, and yeah, nothing much that we have to do. But I thought we would stop. We were. Our show last night was about 10 minutes from the ocean, so we thought we'd stop here. Um, it took us a little extra time to find a spot where the beach even was. Hopefully we don't get a ticket. It was a very strange parking situation. Um, yeah, so here we are, and these are shells. Feeling pretty road weary. It's the end of a tour. We have two shows left, but they're very far away. Uh, one about three and a half hours from here in eastern Pennsylvania, Ashland. And the other one is all the way back in our home area, Grand Rapids, Michigan. So we're driving through the night tonight. So tour is like pretty much over and we're at the furthest destination that we've been at on the whole tour. So that that's not the best planning on my part, but it was the best date to offer to our friend Jorge who set the Long Island show up. Um, and it was really great to be in Brooklyn yesterday. It's really great to be at a beach with salt water. Just a really beautiful place to be. It does look almost exactly like being at Lake Michigan. And so if you've never been to Lake Michigan, it looks just like the ocean. I tell people that and I feel like it's insulting, but it's true. It's just not salty and there's not very many shells. Whereas here, there's giant shells that look like this. And tons of other ones too. Um, that's about it. I'm pretty tired. Touring can be hard. It's a lot of different things to coordinate. Meeting lots of new people being on a schedule every day, playing shows every day, but also the loading in, loading out, and just all of the, the details of that, sleeping in a different place every night, um, talking to hosts who are hosting us and being super grateful for their hospitality. Um, every different place we've stayed has had, sorry, I'm picking shells while I talk to you. <laughs> um, every different place we have stayed has had like different, different characteristics. So it's just, you know, a lot of, and just being in a van with people for so many days. Yeah, just definitely road weary. Not necessarily ready to get back though, but just kind of aware of the intensity of all of it and how much I'm kind of out of my normal flow and making these little videos kind of helps me check in. Um, touring by myself though, I do also tend to write songs, not just make check-in videos, but here um, there just has not been so many people to meet and things to see and things to do and places to be that I really haven't written songs on this tour and so that's pretty new for me. I've never toured with a band before and when I tour by myself I write a lot of songs and really leave myself in lots of places and here I feel like I'm leaving myself more in people and experiences and situations which has been completely different for me and actually very meaningful. So I'm into it but it's very different. Um, I really do like touring alone so that I can, um, you know, it's just, it's a different thing. You can just kind of follow your whimsy and suddenly spend hours writing a song somewhere without it uh, being something that uh, needs, like, coordinating. So, anyway, that's about it. This is the ocean. Hope you've enjoyed my random little travel log and, uh, I hope to piece it all together, but if not, it might be lots of tiny little videos on my YouTube. I have no idea. Brian is spelling cloud light out of shells right now. I guess I'm giving it away. 
but I guess I'll show you it and it'll just say cloudal probably at this point but he is he's on a mission yep I guessed right it's he's up to cloudal there you go wait can you even see that probably not it's hard to tell what you can see already okay well <laughs> bye you don't know his name and you don't know Thank you.